Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is your monthly September astrology. Now, my face is still a bit dodgy, so Kathy made a beautiful film about our time in Venice, a place close to my heart, as my father proposed to my mother in Venice, and it's a magical city, so enjoy. Now, this month, astrology is massive news because we have a pentagram that's going to show us our sole purpose and help us transform in a mega way. But also we have a Cardinal Grand Cross, which may be tricky, but ultimately will be very, very transformative too. Here's your monthly astrology. Cancer, it's a big month for you. Firstly, let's cut to the chase. We have um, a pentagram, which is massive on the fifth, and it's a big soul-inspiring journey. And actually, you will have some a dream or a sign or a symbol coming directly to you, which is guiding you on how to heal your soul, how to follow your soul path, and how to create more security in the world. You'll be super psychic on the 5th. Your intuition will be magnified and you really have got your finger on the pulse. Look out for mysteries that are gonna be revealed and ask yourself, what do you want? It's also urging you to look at how secure you feel in your personal relationships and there may be a, a big message for you there. Also on the 6th, we have Venus, the planet of love going direct, urging us to feel more secure and to lay solid foundations. The Cardinal Grand Cross on the 8th may be a bit testing. And for you in particular, the moon is in your sign, squaring Mercury, squaring Pluto, squaring Uranus, squaring the moon. It's full on for you. You're looking at your personal relationships and your career that actually there may be an unexpected opportunity coming your way. But I feel that crosses are all about really having to learn the, me the lessons that we know we have to learn. You know what it's like. We may have a pattern of behavior or something that we do that we know isn't healthy, but we keep doing it anyway, even though we know. And the Cardinal Grand Cross is a big smack on the bottom and saying, right, that's it. You're not doing that anymore. You know it's wrong. It's time to, you know, move forward. Now, the new moon on the 13th is allowing you to communicate in a new way. There's a partial solar eclipse on that new moon. You may be slightly confused about what you want to say on the 13th, but after that, you're kind of a lot clearer Although I have to say Mercury is going retrograde. So if when it comes to talking to your family or making commitments around a home or doing something radical around your home, try and get it done before the 18th or wait until Mercury goes direct again. Saturn is going into this, your position of looking after yourself and it's saying to you, you know what, you made a commitment to you, have you followed through? So tedious as it is, if you have made a commitment to transforming your health and well-being, you know, it is the time to get back on it, as the old song goes. Now on the 25th, Mars is shifting signs and making you quite fierce when it comes to communication. You're expressing yourself very passionately and you've got a lot to say. Try not to be overcome by anger though. When we speak passionately with gentleness, that's when we can achieve our goal much more powerfully, but you certainly your passion is inspired and stoked. Pluto is also helping you on the 25th to sort out any relationship issues. As Pluto go goes direct in your position of relationships, you should be much clearer about what relationships are real, what, what they can offer you, and where you're going in terms of your relationships. And finally, on the 28th, there's a full eclipsed supermoon in your position of career. It's called the full harvest moon. And it's really saying to you, be honest and use your intuition when it comes to your career. There may be, it may be time for a change. It may be time to let go. It may be time to make changes within what you do or possibly even leave something behind. But the moon will give you a sign or a symbol and hopefully a neon arrow pointing you in the right direction. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I bring exciting news. My brand new website is up, which has loads of fabulous free articles, free readings, and all sorts for you to explore. 
It's been eight months of me getting it together, but I really hope you love it because I'm put my whole heart and soul into it. So please go to www.michellenight.com, Michelle with one L. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Wait.